my name is Andrea Castillo and I am a junior here at WSU Vancouver. I am majoring in elementary education. There are so many things that I love about WSU Vancouver, but one of them is the family atmosphere and friendly atmosphere that you get as soon as you walk on campus. We're just one big happy family and that's something that I truly enjoy about here. It's a dream job. I get to teach future teachers, which is the most exciting thing in my life. Our students tend not to be traditional students. So we'll have some students who are in that traditional age range of 18 to 22, 23. I've got students who are my age this semester. I've got students who are parents. Um, that's not atypical. A lot of our students are first generation students, which is really, it's, it's exciting to me to see all different kinds of people coming into the field, into the profession, and, and coming to college. Being a first generation student is hard, but it's so rewarding and I feel like I'm creating a chain reaction in my family, like I'm the first one and then I have younger siblings, but I also have cousins in Mexico who are looking up to me and they're like, oh my gosh, if she can do it, I can do it too. And it's just like so rewarding to be able to inspire my siblings and my cousins to go to college. What drives me as a teacher is knowing the 100 students I'm teaching this semester will reach hundreds if not thousands of students in their lifetimes. I don't want to just put out mediocre teachers. I want to put out the best teachers possible who understand how important their work is. I had one of the best teachers in fourth grade. Her name was Mrs. Boyle. She is the one that truly impacted me to become a teacher. She was always there for me. Even when I didn't believe in myself, she believed in me. And I want to be able to produce that passion and inspire my own students to reach for their dreams. Like even if it's a big dream and it's hard, I hope and dream that all my students will treat every student with the utmost respect and love and see everyone as having strengths and not just looking at their weaknesses. I want to focus on teaching kindergarten through third grade because I want to be able to be the first person that students get as they start their educational career so I can create a positive impact and already have their mind curious about learning. I just want to be a teacher and be able to teach students and be able to inspire them because when I was younger, I never really thought I would go to college. It was always just like a big dream. I would say that 90% of my students work 20 to 40 hours per week plus our full-time students. Scholarships have allowed us to have a base of students who are first-generation students. It just wouldn't be accessible without them. I think it's awesome that people share what they have with people who don't have. You might not be able to see it, but it truly impacts our life and impacts our families in a way that it's really unexplainable. And I'm sorry I'm gonna get to tears because it's just, it's so amazing to be able to receive the help when you need it without constantly having to worry about like, oh, should I pay for my food or should I pay for my education? And then you receive a scholarship and you're like, okay, I don't have to worry about that money no more. I can focus on just myself and my study and my family. So thank you so much.